Welcome to this Forest Park iPod tutorial screencast. This screencast is going to talk about the iPod and show you how to navigate and get around. So here we have a sample iPod. First taking a look at the display screen. The left side of the display screen shows your different menu choices. The right side of the display screen will show different album covers for content that is already loaded onto the iPod. If you take a look at the menu screen up at the top, there is a little battery life indicator. If it's full green, obviously it means you have a full charge. If it is getting low and running out, you may need to put the iPod back on the cart to recharge it. Taking a look down here at the menu buttons, let's go through what these different buttons do. First, we have the actual menu button. Uh, if you click the menu button, it acts as your back button. It will take you back a screen. Otherwise, no matter where you are in the iPod, if you click and hold on the menu button, it will take you back to this very first screen that you see before you. The next button is the center button, known as the select button. Uh, if you click this, this allows you to select your choice. So when looking at this menu, if I were to hit select right now, it would take me into the music menu. Uh, it also activates and, and starts different audio or different video selections that you're looking to watch or listen to. The next button is the play pause button at the bottom. Uh, if, obviously if you choose a selection and you click play it will start playing it at any time while listening to or watching a selection. If you click this button it will pause the selection. The button here on the right is the next button or the fast forward button. If you have a series of tracks or videos that you're listening to or watching you can click this button to jump to the next track or the next video. If you're watching or listening to a selection, if you click and hold on this button, it will fast forward through that track or that video. This button acts the same way. This is the previous button. It will either, if you click it once, it will jump you back to a previous uh, track or video selection. Or if watching or listening to a selection, if you click and hold this, it will act as a rewind button and allow you to go backwards in your selection. The whole wheel here acts uh, and reacts to the way you touch it. So if you wanted to scroll down this menu, you would put your finger on here and run your finger clockwise and this would scroll down the screen and allow you to choose your different choices. If you wanted to go up, you would scroll counterclockwise and that will scroll up the screen. When you are listening to a selection, uh, if you want to increase the volume, you would scroll clockwise around the wheel with your finger. That will allow the volume to increase. Otherwise, if you want to lower the volume, you would scroll backwards or counterclockwise, and that would allow the volume to decrease. The menus here work linearly. So let's say I wanted to choose something from the music menu. I would choose the music menu choice, hit my select button in the middle. It will take me into the different music options. Let's say I was looking for a particular song. I would go to song, hit my select button. I would then find the song I wanted, hit the select button, and that would start playing. So that while that's playing, I could um, back out of there using the menu button, and I could go back and look at my other menu choices. Um, if I wanted to stop the selection, I could, uh, I could go back in here, pause it, and go make another choice. The way your teachers have this set up, they ha will have a playlist already preloaded on the iPod that either has things for you to listen to or to watch. So you'll want to start out by going to the very first menu, and again, you can click and hold menu, uh, depending on who was using the iPod last. They may, be, they may have left it on in a, in a video or an audio selection. So when you turn it on today, go ahead and click and hold menu. That'll take you back to this very first screen. If your teacher said you're going to listen to something today, that would be in the playlist area or if you're going to watch something that would be in the video playlist area. So go ahead and select your choice. Let's pretend for the purposes of this example that we're going to listen to something. I'm going to scroll to playlist and click the center button. It's going to take me into the different playlists that are already preloaded. So for this example, let's say I was going to listen to a story in uh, for, for eighth grade Com Arts. I would then click my select button again to go into the Com Arts area and choose the story that my teacher wanted me to listen to. Uh, that is basically how you use the iPod. Again, when you turn it on, someone may have used it previously, so you may need to um, either hit your previous button to start that track over that you're going to listen to, or maybe use the menu button and hold it to go all the way back to the beginning and start from scratch. Hope you enjoy using the iPods, and thanks for listening.